I don't have a script for this video, but I do have a new microphone. And I'm going to stick it right beside my old microphone, just out of the shot, and I want you to tell me which one you think sounds better. Let's get undone. Gerald Undone. He's crazy. What's happening everybody? I'm Gerald Undone, and this isn't even my final form. So Deity sent me their new mic, the S-Mic 2S, because they know that I've been looking for a replacement for my current mic, the Samson CO2. And here's the deal, I'm gonna rig this mic up right beside my current mic, and then switch back and forth as I talk at your face, and you're gonna let me know in the comments which mic you think sounds better. But first, I need to figure out a way to attach this thing to my road arm. Okay, so here we go. This is the Samson, and this is the Deity. And I'll put something on the screen so that you know which is which as I switch between them. The microphones are side by side, and both are pointed at about my chin area, and they have XLR cables connecting them to my audio interface by Steinberg. And I haven't done anything to the sound at all. You're hearing it coming straight into my computer via the interface. The only thing that I did is try to balance the input gain on the two mics, since the Samson is less sensitive, seemingly, than the Deity, because on the Samson I have my input turned almost all the way up, where on the Deity I was able to turn it down about two or three notches on the gain knob in order to achieve the same volume. So while you listen to the microphones, allow me to tell you a little bit about my room and why choosing a mic for here is a bit tricky, and if you have a similar situation to me, then hopefully this will be helpful. So this room is a tough one for sound. It has eight foot ceilings, and based on my voice and a little bit of the reverberance that comes out of that, I have some bad standing waves that come in here, and they're bounced around a lot because of the eight foot ceilings. And often you can't really hear it with my Samson mic, but I do have quite a deep, boomy voice. And so all those things combined make for a rather echoey mess of audio, which you could hear in some of my older videos when I was just using a classic large diaphragm condenser cardioid microphone. Related Reddit threads and even my own comments are one, which camera is the best camera to get when you're just starting out? Now since then I have treated the room with DIY acoustic panels as well as some foam and that has helped remove a lot of the echo but the longer traditional shotgun microphones still do catch a bit of that bad phase garbling sound and aren't ideal in this space which is why I've been using the Samson CO2. It's wide enough with its small cardioid pattern to not hone in on any of those bad waves I was just talking about but it's also small enough to not pick up as much of the echo. However it does take some finessing. It's a great mic for the money it's only $100 and you get two, but it does have a self-noise problem, and as you might have noticed on my voice, it does tend to sound a little bit brittle and nasally. Now the self-noise isn't a huge problem because I tend to apply noise reduction anyway because as I'm sure you've even heard with the Deity, I do have a bit of a noise thing going on in here because there's a lot of electronics and my computer and everything, and I can't turn all of that stuff off and still be able to make my videos. So I do apply some noise reduction in post generally, and I will apply that now to both microphones so that you can hear the difference. But first I'll give you a little bit of just silence without any noise reduction now. And now I'll apply the noise reduction and you should hear it go mostly silent. And this shouldn't really affect the original audio samples too much because I train it with a specific noise sample using Audition and I find that that's pretty good and it doesn't really change the way that my voice sounds too much. And then in order to make the Samson sound more full and to get rid of some of that nasality and brittleness that I was talking about, I tend to put an EQ on it. And an interesting thing that I noticed about that is that I was listening to these two mics side by side and when I applied the EQ to the Samson, it sounded quite a bit more like the Deity does right out of the box. And not to spoil the test because I do want you guys to listen to these two mics and then let me know in the comments which one you think sounds better, but I do find that I tend to make the Samson sound like the Deity using an EQ, so I guess to me I must like the sound of the Deity better, and it does have a lower self noise, so that's good as well. So how about I just read a sentence with the Samson, and then we'll apply an EQ, and then we'll compare it to the Deity. So this is the Samson with no EQ, just that noise reduction. 
Bruce Banner is a renowned scientist with seven PhDs and expertise in the field of gamma radiation. Now let's apply the EQ to the Samson. Bruce Banner is a renowned scientist with seven PhDs and expertise in the field of gamma radiation. And now compare it to the deity. Bruce Banner is a renowned scientist with seven PhDs and expertise in the field of gamma radiation. To me it seems like the Deity S Mic 2S does have a better lower end and just sort of an overall fuller sound and I haven't noticed it pick up any of that bad stuff in this room that I was talking about that I experienced with the longer shotgun mics. And I think that has to do with the fact that this one's shorter and so it doesn't reject as much or isolate as much on that funky stuff that I don't want to hear in this room. So it seems like it might be a good option for this space. Now there are some other mics that can accomplish this as well, like the Ships, but that's $1,500 and is a bit hard to recommend for a good value microphone, which is what I do a lot on this channel is try to recommend and good value products. So I'm hoping that the Deity is sort of that sweet spot between budget and achieving what, you know, a small room YouTuber might need because I'm told this is going to come in around $300 which I think sounds about right. It also comes with a nice mini Pelican style case, a foam windscreen, and a simple 5 8 inch mic stand clip. I don't have all the specs yet, but I'm told they'll be similar to the S Mic 2, but for specifics like that, I generally like to point people toward Curtis Judd, who's already uploaded his video on the 2S. But when the specs are published, I will put a link in the description for them. I'm told that they're aiming for an October release. All right, so I think that's enough talking to give you a decent enough sample for you to decide which mic you think sounds better on my voice in this space. Please let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. But for fun, here's a little guitar sample as well so we can see how the mics hold up for that purpose. <laughs> Microphones, it's hard to give an overall recommendation because everybody's voice and space are different, but if you're anything like me or shooting in similar environments, then I hope that this video was useful. I'm quite satisfied with the DDS Mic 2S, and I think I'm going to continue to use it primarily because it requires less fussing about than the Samson CO2. I think if you're on an extremely tight budget, then the Samson CO2 is still a good buy, but if you have a little bit more money to spend, then the Deity S Mic 2S, which is still a good value, will give you a fuller, more polished sound quicker, and what's more valuable than time? But that's going to be it for me. I hope you found this video entertaining or at least helpful. And if you did, make sure you leave it the old thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. But if you did not find this video helpful or entertaining, well, I don't know what to tell you. The video was free. Stop crying. The dislike button's for babies. All right. I'm done.